Can you see it? Yeah, I told you. I parked it right here? Hello? Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Getting your car stolen sucks. It's a whole shit show that can disrupt your everyday life, limit your mobility, and is all around an absolute f fest. And in case you haven't already guessed, yes, it happened to me not too long ago. For those of you who don't know, I currently reside in Christchurch, also known as the Garden City, Quake City, and the second largest hotspot for car theft in New Zealand. This wasn't new to me since the street I lived on already had a few thefts and break-ins, but since it hadn't happened to me yet, I thought I was in the clear. Until I got the call from Dad. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, hi Harry, this is Dad. Listen, I got a call from the police earlier. Can you just check where you've parked your car? My car? Long story short, I forgot to put my wheel lock on that night, allowing a couple of young people to break into my car and take it for a joyride leaving nothing but a pair of lime scooters where it was parked. The police later found it all the way in Wilston, a good distance from where I was living at the time. The first thing I did after I got the call was head into the main police station in town, where I picked up the fuse I had taken out and filled out a report about what happened. They then gave me a case report and a number to pass on to insurance claims and some pretty standard car parking tips to avoid having the car stolen again. Yeah, so uh, if you could try to park off the streets, that would be great. If not, always use a wheel lock or park under the nearest streetlight, you know? You got all that? Yeah, mate, thanks for that. All good, bro. Sorry about your car. <laughs> Thank you. After that, I set out to find the car. My dad and I were hopeful that the damage wasn't too bad and it could still be driven to the nearest panel beater. But when I got there, my hopes were quickly crushed. Look what those little shits did to my baby! Both tires on one side were completely blown out, the rear window was smashed in, and the ignition was completely destroyed. It wasn't going anywhere without a tow truck. And to make things worse, I know some stuff was missing from the back of the car. Namely a bag which I keep all my gear for ACA Heavy Combat in. I later found out that the bag had been dumped somewhere during the thieves' driving spree since they obviously had no interest in its contents. And the locals told me they heard them running up the driveway after wrecking my car, which wouldn't be possible for whoever was carrying all that weight. Luckily, they didn't get very far. Apparently dogs were used in their arrest. Crap, run Gary! Oh no! No no no! <laughs> Gary! Ah! So for some people, getting the car back is the easy part. It's what follows as an absolute nightmare. Since driving the car was no longer an option, Dan and I had to call for a tow truck to come pick it up. And so I had to set off on foot to meet the guys and hand over my keys and insurance claim number I got from the police. I ended up doing a lot of walking that day. Plus it was the middle of summer so I was sweating like a pig. So I finally got there to drop off the stuff. And by happy coincidence, the tow truck arrived there just minutes after I did. So far, so good. Later that day I was back at home scrolling through Facebook when I came across an interesting post that was made earlier that morning. Turns out someone had seen my bag and made a post about it. And after getting in contact with the guy and learning which street he found the bag on, I set off again to get it back. And after even more walking and sweating my ass off, I finally got to the street. And lo and behold, the bag wasn't there. So it turns out the guy who made the Facebook post didn't have the presence of mind to hold on to the bag and just left it on the side of the road, allowing someone else to get there before me and get their hands on it, most likely thinking it was just free stuff up for grabs. After a bit of investigating and asking some of the locals, all I was able to get was a security camera still of the last known car that was in the area before the bag vanished. So now I had to find out who took off with my bag. By the way, when you're trying to track down lost property, don't go and post about it on social media. I know that sounds counterproductive when you're trying to find your stuff, but trust me, most of the answers you will get are absolutely irrelevant to your problem. Plus, there are quite a few shady people out there, as I quickly found out. What? No.
No, I'm not the owner of that vehicle. I'm just trying to retrieve the bag they stole. Again, the car's not mine. Uh, did you even read the description? No. 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 Go f yourself. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. Ah! Actually, wait, no, that's kind of helpful. Since then, the trail's gone cold. A couple of days later, my dad and I went to another panel beater's place to meet the guy who was assigned to fix my car. Alright, so, there's a bit of work to be done here. But you'll get your car back better than new, mate. Plus, there are a lot of places out here that'll rip you off, so... You made the right choice coming to us. I'll admit, I thought the guy was a bit eccentric and insistent that he'd be my go-to guy whenever I had car troubles, but... You know, Dad seemed to trust him, and that was enough for me. And to be fair, he did take his job seriously and kept me updated throughout the whole process. The following weeks of me waiting for the cars to be repaired were a bit hectic. First, I was about to move houses at the time. Something I do quite a bit if you didn't already notice. Then, the repairs were off to a slow start due to the power beaters not receiving any updates from the insurance claim. And finally, I was worried at one point that the car had been stolen again! I got a call from the police just days before the car repairs were complete, and they told me they had found footage of my car on social media. Turns out some people are dumb enough to brag about their crimes online. They asked me to check with the pound beaters to make sure the car actually was still there, and thank god it was a false alarm. And the footage that the police found was just an old recording that had resurfaced. Plus, completely unrelated, but I found out the thieves weren't locals, but had instead come down from Wellington. Eventually, I finally got my car back. And I gotta say, the guy was true to his word. My car looked a sh load better. Hell, even better than when I first got it. He even fixed the broken headlight I had, which, by the way, wasn't broken during the theft, it was part of another... incident. Alright, gonna pick Dad up and take him to the airport. Ah, stupid phone. Ah! Ma'am, I am so sorry. I was in a rush to pick up my dad and my phone fell and- uh, How bad is the damage? Do I need to get my insurance involved? Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look like the paneling was damaged. It's a Sir. scratch, really. Sir. You know, a bit of paint and primer. I would look as Sir, I would still feel better if I took down your information for insurance. Oh yeah, hang on. Anyway, since then I've been more cautious when it comes to parking my car. And after giving one more testimony to the police, the sh show was finally over and I can move on with my life. Sadly, the bag still has yet to be found, but I'm still keeping my eyes open for it. Plus, my friends in Southern Guard felt really bad for me when they heard the news. Hell, one of them even said if they had the cash, they would buy me some new gear to use. I don't know if they'd actually do it, but it is a lovely thought. So, if you don't want to go through all that and potentially more, make sure you do everything within your power to keep your car safe. Even simple things like getting a budget wheel lock and remembering to use it every night can save you a lot of hassle. And make sure you still have something to drive. With that said, thank you for watching, and special thanks goes to Pink Pappy for lending his voice to this video. Go check out his content if you haven't already, be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.